All new at 11. It's one of the busiest weekends for restaurants. They're gearing up for Super Bowl Sunday. And then you got Valentine's Day following it on Monday. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Lesla Gooden caught up with a bunch of folks who went out and found out, uh, they went out and found out how everybody's getting ready for the weekend. So right now, about 400. Rooster's Chicken and Waffles, tucked away in New Britain, says this Super Bowl weekend has been their busiest one. Yeah, but the last few years, there wasn't, I mean, you, you couldn't throw parties like that because, you know, due to COVID, but this year is looking like it's going to be a very fantastic year for us. The House of Sauce opened their coop in 2020 and owes their success to their real MVPs. You know, um, New Britain, they, they hard hitting for a reason. They've been showing nothing but love and they've been supporting. While Roosters is making a touchdown in game day dishes, while love is filling the air at Cava's. This is our busiest weekend of the year. We'll be having about 25 100 customers over the next uh, three nights. The whimsical restaurant this weekend has been transformed into a place of love. We have uh, the castle that's all lit up in red. We put rose petals on all the tables. We put our napkins into like little valentines. Kava says they have limited reservations left because it's unique. There's you're not going to find any place around like it. It's um, America's most holiday decorated restaurant. Leslie Gooden, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.